Hello everyone, it's Rita here. <clears throat> I guess I lost my voice already. Hold on, let me get a sip of water. I hadn't talked yet. And there you go. I should talk to myself out loud, that way I'll be ready when I do a video. Okay, so I'm working on the um, B journal and I'm not sure what to call it. Maybe I'll call it the Busy Bee or <clears throat> I don't know. Anyway, it is a, a bee themed. and um, But I'm not going to make it super bee, like everything is bee. Um, I just want to give it some kind of a theme. So I was going to make a folio, and then I thought, well, I have these legal size uh papers and I thought I could kind of make like a journal folio so we'll see um, so first of all we're going to score this this is uh, a little less than 15 inches and it is I think nine inches um, well eight and a half there all the way up to here would be nine inches uh, high so I'm gonna score this at six because that's what we usually use um, just do it a little bit more there and then we'll turn it upside down and then I'm going to score at six again I was going to score like I made before at the ends and fold them in to make a pocket but I thought I'd try this and see if it works Let's see if it can, yeah it might fold might be a little difficult okay so there we have a spine and then depending on where this is up here if you want to leave that on the back of the journal you can or if you have one on this side you could leave it well yeah see you don't want it necessarily in the front but if you don't want it just cut it off straight off and then just round your corners okay so that was quick that is done so it's not going to fit back right now, so I'm just going to try to fold it here and get it a little bit. Now, uh, the nice thing about this is that it's a double folder, so that means you're going to have a lot more strength in your cover. so there is the spine and let's see what that measures I didn't really check it is two and three quarters inch spine and then we have six and then six but I think that's pretty cool now the other thing is we can we can glue this on these sides and make it a large pocket on both sides which I am not I don't really like large pockets like that um, so I was thinking what would happen if I cut this down and then we would have where it could fold out and put something down here. I don't know. Or side pockets would be good too. Or we could cut these down here and make just regular pockets. It's not as much fun, but. Hmm. I think I'm going to cut one side down to here and uh, we'll see what we can make and if I can't make something I'll just do something else but at least we'll try just gonna go right down this spine on this side
this is the back and this is the front <clears throat> which I didn't get that cut very well I was gonna try to use my mic <clears throat> again today because um, Susie was having a hard time hearing me I thought maybe that would help and gosh I can't even get that straight uh, Hold on a second. Let's see if I can. I don't know if I can do that. Hmm. To figure out a way I can get it straight with. I just want to fit. Yeah, I can't do it. I'll have to just really try to straighten it up. <clears throat> It's just this one part here is kind of out, bulging, I guess. And this side has kind of a different line because it's, you know, when you score it, it kind of gives you that double. Okay, so this here will still be the spine, right? But this part would open up. Um, which I was thinking, you know, journaling page there or something. Or I could fold this up um, in half and part way, make that a pocket in that journaling section there. But I don't know. You could do, actually do both sides if you wanted to. This side I wouldn't mind being a pocket because it's, um, you know, scooped down there. This side. I mean, it, yeah, that one might be good as a pocket. Okay, so um, I don't want to ink all the inside, I don't think. I'm wondering if I should glue this down now. Well, let me ink around this edge here. Whoops, that's the wrong thing. Um, okay, who took my... There it is. Nobody took it because nobody's been here. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to put a little bit of... ink on here and I was going to print some other papers to uh, put on this but my uh, computer ran out of battery so when it gets done I'll, I'll pause the video and get some more papers that I think would work Father in. I guess I'll know when I do my first page, right? Sometimes I don't like these folders inked. do this I think I need a paper somewhere back there behind it it doesn't have to be a full sheet of anything let's see let's see coffee dyed paper I ordered more of my um, parchment paper because I'm going to probably go 
go on a whole page like that and it says B journal. This one's going to flip down and we'll have to probably put a um, some kind of a clip on it to keep it from flip flopping open. I have to kind of think about what I want to do. I thought maybe a waterfall would be nice on these sides. Then journals or journal pages are going inside. So I'm not worried about that. But. Yeah, I think that um, I just love these little bee patterns that are they're just like real bees. Yeah, I don't know. They might be too It's hard to tell exactly where they would end up. I think that one would give me a whole bee. Do I want it to go all the way up? Hmm. I guess then, I don't know. Then I have all these um, words that I printed, which would be cute right there. It'd say um, "Be Journal" or. Be kind to others. Just be yourself. Hmm. Okay. Um, Judy, if you're watching, I think this paper was one of the green ones that I had out. Um, and it's from Shabby Dabby Doo Dah. And um, I don't know what, oh, she called it Knees Bees. Yeah, Knees Bees is the name of the, of the uh, journal pages, or the uh, digital. And um, yeah, I picked that out of there. I, I think there's a full page of it, but I didn't print all the pages. So um, it was funny because I'm like, that's the one Judy was looking at. All right, I'm just going to put this B here. Turn it over, and I, I don't know what's going to come up on the other side, but I'm not going to worry about it, because I'm going to put wording up there, or you know, be journal or something. going to work. I always do that backwards. Shoot. Ah, that's not going to work. I'm going to go this way. <laughs> I'm such a dingbat when it comes to reversing. And I should know better because I've been doing that for years in so many different ways, so many projects. I used to do my own framing when I was cross-stitching, like in the 80s. And you have to know the angles or your, your miters won't go together. Same with quilting. showing because we'll probably cover it with something in there. I don't know what exactly. So 
Today is Sunday for me. Nice, quiet Sunday. Oh, it's hot, though, outside. I guess it's going to be like 98. It might even get to three digits, they said. And, yeah, for June, that it's a record-breaker kind of day. smaller and I didn't. Okay. So that will be queued up there. And then if we take the word See if this will fit. I'm gonna see if I can rip it. Let's see if I can. It's humid out too. I can feel the humidity. And it's well, it's 10:30 in the morning. I thought it was earlier. I started earlier. I'll tell you. I don't get. Where's the one that said B journal? Didn't it say B? This is my journal. Oh, but that's a lot smaller. Hmm. I'm going to try this. something just to use on the cover somewhere. But when the book is closed, that's such a huge spine. I am not used to a spine this big. Hmm. I'm just trying to get a a look, see how it's going to to show. But once you open the book, it'll show. Okay. So if I use this, maybe I want something on the cover. I'll just use this one. to think if I have any die cuts uh, with the uh, bees and I do have a die cut just have to get it out so I was thinking what can I put over here maybe something else or something something behind it even some I have a feeling I'm going to go for black quite a bit in this journal because that's the, the vibe I'm getting. Just really bad about washi tape. I don't know where to put it. Well, I guess I can always take it off, right? I think I'm going to put this over here because I feel like that's someplace 
that I want to put something. I was watching a few journal makers yesterday afternoon and I just admire those people that can just make something I mean, they don't they don't use anything they just put a piece of paper here and put another piece of paper in and it just looks amazing totally amazing okay now we can glue this all down just to keep it sturdy and and we can also come back and put something on the outside that would look nice lace or something like that we can't put anything where this is gonna oh this is whoops <gasps> wait a minute you guys Oop. you know what I'm gonna have to do it this way <gasps> See what I told you about reverse? Okay, so that's gonna put the pocket on the, no, I don't want this on the front. Oh my goodness. Okay, is that correct? Maybe I did have it correctly, correct the first time. Yeah, that's right. So when you open it up, this will flop down. Okay, we're good. So, this is the inside. I'm just gonna write in, just so I can remember that's what that is. Okay, so let I think I can just glue stick that down. Thinking about sewing around it before I actually This side is going to be glued down as well. I didn't think about that because that's going to be a pocket. Which I might regret. Hmm. And the reason I say that is because if I put a large tag in there, it's going to cover that. Or if I had it on the side. Is what it is. Okay, so that's so all we have to do there so far. Just ink around here a little bit. So I was thinking about um, a waterfall, like here, and then um, this part would drop down to become a journaling spot, but you know, who's going to take their whole journal, let me move this, uh, 
I'm just wondering who would take their whole journal go up like that and then try to journal on that. I don't know. That's why I'm thinking maybe I should just cut it and just make it a pocket. Or I could cut this off entirely. But I don't want to do that. I could do, um, I don't want to glue it closed. I guess this side would be better for a waterfall. I don't know, I just felt like doing one. I don't know with what I like do you guys remember when I did I forgot about that I did a waterfall with journal cards um it was like all of these cards were laid on there I might give that a try um and they were it, Seemed to me they were all different sizes. I have to wonder what journal I did that in so I could go look at it. Yeah, I think they were like all different sizes. Okay, so if I did that, I would have to. Um, whatever, I need to back these. Because each one would flip up and little bit oh, I didn't cut it uh, okay I don't really like this one so these ones I like um, I don't you know it's just a totally different color so If I cut it here, because each one of these have to have a top to fold over, and this is on cardstock, so I don't know if it's going to work. This is what I think I would do. Score this. I'm going to put a paper behind there, but I just want to see how this looks. Just get a piece of washi and 
I can hold that down. Not really. <laughs> okay. Where this, I don't know where this digital came from. Um, how much time have I spent? Oh. Okay. This one should go right below that one. Okay, so we would need several of these to fill up that page. But I think they're cute like that. Let's try one more and then I'll, I can do this off camera. But the main thing is you need to have enough uh, on the top to fold over. Just making very tiny curves here. Probably could have you don't have to do it the way I did it because if you don't have your journal cards all in in a row like that and they're separate, you're going to have to add a, a piece of um, paper, like a um, half inch or something divided. So then this one would go there. I know it's not very clear. I'm kind of curious to see how many I would need but I did one where I went like this and I went over here like that and they weren't in any particular order and I kind of like that maybe I should have printed on the back sides of these just so they would it would all blend in no matter where they were stuck down you know what I mean I could stick that one there and then I could come back and stick another one over here and over here see that's cute okay so I need to find background cover or uh, background page first because I want to yeah let's do that you could always make this on another piece of uh, cardstock or another piece of uh, paper um, okay, I'm just going to ink these and you guys can fast forward if you want. If you don't want to watch it. But I'm going to get something, some stencil. Let's see what I've got. Okay, where's my stencils? Huh. I just got them out the other day because I'm too, okay, there are some. There's that brick one I was going to give a try. Hmm. Let's see how this looks.
Now, darn. Hmm. It looks okay, but it's not really for this um, size. I mean, I think I'm just going to do... What I need to find is my honeycomb stencil. And put that behind it. It doesn't look that bad. Okay. All right, let me find uh, something to put behind it. I wonder, should I, do I need to cover the whole page? that hmm. all right I'm gonna have to cut a little notch here See if I could feel that curve. to show Just use my nail. You could use a um, your bone folder or something like that, because this is hard enough that you can find it. All right. Now I know that I, my punch probably would not punch that. I think that other one would either. Let me check. Nope. Okay. We'll just kind of make our own here. Tedious work, right? <laughs> okay. I just want it to be inked a little more in here. All these pictures are probably going to be covered anyway, so. this side off. Try to make that even. I might have had to cut that out. Oh, got it. We 
we've got gnats in the house the last few days and they're, they're driving me nuts. My cat's out there crying her head off. I don't know why. She knows I'm in here next. I don't know where Toby is. He didn't show up this morning for breakfast. So he's out carousing around somewhere. Oh, go away, Nat. That's my, I hope that's my mark. Sometimes you can't tell when your your mark is black like the rest of it. Okay. It's not a perfect fit, but by the time we get everything else on it, it'll be fine. And I don't think I want to leave anything open behind here. down and then I will um, get those all ready to go and lay them down because I think you understand what I'm doing and I'll explain it when I show it to you and the thing I like about doing them um, on odd you know sections like that is they don't have to be perfect. So I'm going to start from the top here. You know, because if they're not, if they're off a little bit on the sides, then they're not, you know, they don't look right, so you've got to readjust them. I think I went a little too short on the bottom, but oh well. Oops. Everything's sticky already. Okay, so I think those are going to look cute. And I know they all say postcard, but I don't have an issue with that. So I do like one there, one there. We could do, oh my goodness, that bug. Um, you know, and I don't know if that would look better. I think it would be better just to kind of do them this way, like that, and those aren't cut yet, but maybe a fifth one down here at the bottom. Okay, I think that's cute. And then this is all journaling space behind it. And then we have a big pocket. Okay, so I'm going to let you guys go. Um, I don't know what time it is, but uh, I want to sit here and get those ready. And hopefully my computer will be ready to do some printing. Uh, I'm not even sure how much I need, but I am going to uh, fill these in with uh, coffee dyed paper mostly and um and a few pieces of embellishment you know i'm not gonna go crazy i don't think so here's like um you know something we can put put there and then i realized that i could 
bring that down and leave this unattached and put the heart going that way. Doesn't look good on just this plane. But that's the other thing too. Um, you probably don't want to watch all of that. So I may go ahead and get everything covered. And I'll, I'll just use different papers uh, covering it all. What was I doing here? That's weird. I thought I was going to make this to drop down. I guess I changed my mind <laughs> in between two minutes ago and now. I think I was going to make a, maybe a side tuck here then. Yeah, maybe that's what I was going to do. I don't know. All right, guys. So I'm going to let you go, and um, I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.